People line up to buy tickets to go into Mammoth Cave every day all year long. Group sizes are limited and reservations are recommended. There's a deep, silent river flowing just before. Except on one Sunday every December, when it's a free-for-all party atmosphere and no need to be claustrophobic. There's plenty of room for the hundreds of people who choose to continue the party underground. So luckily we are the longest cave in the world, but we also have a lot of really large rooms so we can fit a lot of visitors in these areas as well as the performers and the sound just reverberates beautifully everywhere. More than 700 people showed up this year for the Mammoth Cave Sing, an annual event since 1980. And if you ever saw it. It's not a rock concert, but a concert among the rocks. Even though the modern day sing dates back four decades, there's probably been music bouncing off these walls for centuries. The music with the cave goes hand in hand. You see a lot of early accounts, uh, visitor accounts of, of, of people singing in the cave, playing musical instruments. There is a record of Christmas caroling here in 1883 when some local residents dragged a decorated tree into the cave. That tree stayed in place for decades. This year, the Lindsey Wilson College Singers performed with one stalagmite voice in this natural auditorium. The acoustics are amazing there. We love it. We like to think we're singing rock cappella music for everyone. <laughs> Usually we sing just in churches or like in concert, like places like that, but actually getting to sing like in a cave with this many people, it was a crazy experience. On the surface, this might seem like a cold Christmas tradition, but deep down there's a lot of warmth. It's 37 degrees up here, 54 degrees in the cave. So many warm feelings, especially for this couple who got engaged at the Cave Sing in 2014. I popped the question, she said yes. So now we got two little ones and we try to bring them, you know, to keep the tradition every time they do it. That's why some people consider this a magical place where strangers can get together by the hundreds, sing with one voice, and light up a cavernous room. At Mammoth Cave, Marvin Bartlett with the spirit of the bluegrass.